the Brothers of Liberty, here to remind you what true freedom is. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Brothers of Liberty with the older brother Kelton here. Um, in this video, we're actually going to talk about something that's been going on for, the, it's well, been in articles and Twitter for a couple months now. I just happened to get to it, like I said before, I have a lot of topics and not enough time. Um, but um, it's actually been going for years, not just months, but for years. Um, and that's about uh, women are running a sexy summer camp for kids in Kentucky. Yes, you heard that right. A sex summer camp for kids. Now, all these women happen to be lesbians. Um, I don't care if you're straight, lesbian, or whatever. It should not be done, period. Um, with that being said, um, let me read a little bit about the background of it. A Kentucky-based virtual sex education summer camp taught young attendees how to masturbate, obtain an abortion, and have sex while on drugs. Yes, you heard that correctly. They're teaching kids how to have sex while they're on drugs, how to get an abortion, how to masturbate. Um, now, it's based out of Hazard, Kentucky. Um, it's, uh, I'm going to have the... Uh, let's see, it's sex, Sexy ed, Sex Ed Camp, and it's a virtual camp that took place in the summer of 2021. However, they've actually had in-person workshops, and according to the website, they've been operating sex education workshops for children since 2012. Um, the website states it compels teenagers and people of all ages. You heard that right, all ages. In fact, even in one of the, video, uh, one of the personal videos of uh, one of the women running it, she says that all ages should masturbate, even talking about three-year-old kids. Yes, you heard that correctly. And this is what um, they want to do in school as well, and uh, which is why they don't like the uh, Florida bill. But it's funny how the opponents are talking about the Ford Florida bill, but not the Virginia bill, which will have a video on the Virginia bill as well. Um, but um, no, children should be children. I don't care who you are, straight, trans, homosexual. You do not need to teach children these things, period. I was taught the eighth and ninth grade as a lot of other people were, but now they're trying to make it younger and younger for indoctrination and grooming. And yes, you heard that correctly. I mean, you have professors now saying pedophilia is a sexual orientation and not a sickness. No, it's a sickness in the head. And I'm sorry, anybody touch my children, uh, they will answer to me. Of course, I will answer to the law afterwards. And um, they might say, oh, you're threatening. No, when it comes to my kids, I will go to jail for my kids. Case closed. Um, and a lot of other parents feel the same way. Don't believe me? Try something to their kids and find out. Um, but this is a sickness in the head. Um, these people shouldn't even be allowed to do it, but they're doing it. They've been operating since 2012. So apparently it's been around for a while and, you know, none of the media talks about it. Why? Because the media probably thinks it's okay, which they're sick in the head too. But hey. Um, you know, some of those media people are into pedophilia and stuff, all those big shots and stuff. Don't believe me? Dig. Things might happen and things may disappear because you're digging too much. I'm surprised YouTube hasn't cut my videos off for all the time of all of me um, talking about the big shots and stuff. But hey, that means that they're showing their guilty conscience if they do. And like I said, there's more to just, I post this on multiple sites, not just one. So yeah, um, YouTube might take it down, but it'll be on other sites. And I do share all those sites and links in the description as well. And I'll start uh, definitely um, pushing more of those sites out too. I always push the Rumble and the YouTube. But I can always uh, do more sites. And um, as far as that. Is concerned, I mean, when will it end? They don't like 
people who challenge it because they want to say, oh, it's called discrimination. No, it's not discrimination. It's called kids are kids. Let them be kids. You are grooming them. You are indoctrinating them. No. Deal with your kids the way you want to deal with. But don't try to tell me how to raise my kids. All right. It's been working out for generations and generations. And now you're saying, uh, oh, you have to now teach kids at the age of three. To no, it's called grooming at that point. And you are a sick pedophilia, whether you want to admit it or not. And that's just my opinion on it. What's your opinion? Like, share, subscribe. Add in the comment box. And put comments in there. And if you have any topics you want us to discuss, you know, we'll discuss anything and everything. As you've seen our broad selection, um, Brothers of Liberty 76 at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. And, you know, this summer we haven't rebranded everything yet, but pretty soon it will be the Brothers and Sisters of Liberty. Um, and if we get enough following, hopefully we'll have some merchandise as well to sell. But until then, because uh, my brother keeps on saying we need merchandise, I keep telling them, share the channels, and uh, the more people we get, and uh, if we can start getting, uh, you know, people wanting merchandise, um, we will make them and go from there. And as always, this is the Older Brother of Liberty reminding you what true freedom is and ought to be.